The British Columbia Wildfire Service says nearly 500 firefighters are tackling the fire in Canada, and the next 48 hours are critical. The jet stream carries that smoke to the Midwest, giving us a hazy sky despite low cloud cover. Fox 2's Bomarito Automotive Group Skyfox caught the smoke's effect on our sunrise this morning, making our sunrises and sunsets more vibrant as the smoke scatters the sun's rays. John Nahan with the St. Louis Science Center explains how light is different colors because of its different wavelengths. Over here on the right, we're getting a little bit more of a blue color. Um, that's a really high wavelength light. And then over here, we have this red, which is our largest and longest wavelength. This relates to the sunsets because the light from the sun comes in many colors. During the day, these different wavelengths come down, and the one we see is predominantly blue because it's a really high wavelength. It scatters and shoots these blue light particles everywhere, and that's what we see with our eyeballs. When the sun is at a low angle in the morning and evening, we see the different colors. That blue light, because it's hitting the atmosphere and scattering, it has so much more atmosphere to go through from this angle that it actually can't make it through. Our red and our orange are able to get through the atmosphere, and that's why we predominantly see those colors at sunrise and sunset. Now with these fires going on, that effect is heightened. So those really big particles uh, of particulate matter that are coming down are really effectively blocking our blue and our green and our yellow and even our orange. So all we see for the most part is that really nice bright crimson red color that comes through. Reporting in St. Louis, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.